Hello, hello, my name is Masha Nuts and today I'm going to be showing you how I made this beautiful fruit bracelet collection. Funny thing is, I actually made this bracelet collection over a year ago. You might remember this footage from my vlog 19. That was when I actually started making these bracelets. I went to the shop and I got myself strings specific to these patterns. This is actually really difficult to do. It's, it's not as easy as you would think when you come in with specific patterns in mind. You would think that, you know, you have all this string to choose from and it'll be easy to do, but no, it was it was difficult. It was difficult as well because I was doing it as a collection and so I had all of these bracelets. I wanted the colors to have a similar vibe. So that's why it also was difficult in addition to the fact that it just is difficult to match colors to a screen. I made this collection a year ago, more, and then I wanted to make a video for it originally back then, but then I lost the footage to it. But guess what? I was doing a big clear out of all of my files and I found the footage, guys. So I'm super excited to finally have this video ready for you because I was so gutted when I lost that footage. This is one of my favorite bracelet collections I've ever made. And I'm so happy to finally be sharing this with you guys. So this bracelet collection consists of five bracelets. We have five separate fruit related bracelets. I actually don't know which one is my favorite because I just love them all so much. Uh, the color combinations for these, as I said, I had to go to the shop to actually pick out for. And I love how they turned out. Not only are they just great individually, they are also really, really good um, together. I think the colors really work together as a cohesive collection. And also, as I said, individually, it can be really difficult um, to pick out colors in general, but also specifically for alphas, it can be really difficult because there are elements within alpha bracelets where you kind of have uh, highlights or shadows within the design. And you want those colors to be close enough so that it kind of works as a highlight, as a shadow, um, but then also different enough so that they can contrast between each other and so that you don't have them kind of blend together in the design. So it can be quite difficult to choose colors for it. But as I said, I think they turned out beautifully here. And I do really love these patterns. There's a reason why these were in my to-dos for as long as they were. I kept meaning to do them. I just couldn't get myself to commit to making five bracelets at once. They're just so beautiful. And I am very glad, very glad that I actually finally did them. I love these. I, I love them because they're fruit related and that reminds me of spring and summer. It's very much kind of that vibe for me and I thrive in spring and summer and spring and summer is also my most active bracelet making time. You'll notice that if you've been following my channel for a while, I kind of go dormant towards the end of autumn and then I barely post in winter because I don't know, bracelets for me are just a spring and summer activity and that's where I thrive when I make them. Uh, so not only that, and it just kind of reminds me of that time, but also just, I don't know, I think these patterns work really well together as a collection. So we're making the apple one at the moment and you see we've got the apple in the center. They all have the, the fruit um, in the center. We've also got a cross section of the apple here, which I think is really cute. Um, but we've got uh, the actual fruit in the center. We've got some leaves. We've got some green bits here and there. I mean, we have these flowers and I love that these patterns have this sort of a connecting motif throughout all of them. And as we see kind of making more and more of these, um, we will see that, yeah, we have, we have the same kind of connecting features within them. And because of that, I had to use the same colors as well, which is part of what made choosing the colors quite difficult but also easy at the same time. <laughs> That's a weird statement, but I had to make sure that the colors were the same for these similar elements. So all of the flowers um, are the same white and yellow. All of the greens are the same throughout these bracelets. Um, just because I kind of wanted a sense of consistency. I wanted a sense of, you know, cohesiveness um, throughout these bracelets. But then that also kind of did pose a challenge in some areas, specifically once um, I think we get to the peach bracelet, which is coming up in, in you know, a few bracelets from now. Um, I think that one was done on kind of, you know, a peachy background. So I had to choose the colors very specifically to make sure that they kind of worked within that, um, specifically with the kind of yellow bits here. But, oh, look at them. They're just so gorgeous. I can't, I just, I just can't stop gushing about these bracelets. And I'm so, so glad, so, so glad that I finally found the footage for it. I was gutted when I lost it. Because, you know, I mean, first of all, it's a commitment to make these bracelets, right? There's five of them. 
And you know, I enjoyed myself regardless of whether or not I filmed it. I had a great time. I had great bracelets as a result, but you know, I specifically intended to film these and I spent a lot of time doing so. I spent a lot of time filming and then also actually making these bracelets. And then I lost the footage. I was just, I was devastated. It was actually very sad. <laughs> so <laughs> I finally did a clear out. I can't believe I found it. I'm still in shock from that. And I'm so happy because I really, really wanted to share these with you guys. So yeah. Top tip, make sure your files are organized so you don't encounter the same mess as I did. Um, yeah, <laughs> fun times. But yeah, we, we're starting the Kiwi one now. I, I don't know which one is my favorite. Let me know in the comments if you have a favorite of these. I just, I think I love how all of them turned out. And I know I just said that they were a time commitment, which they were because there is a lot of them. Uh, but at the same time, these were actually quite easy to make because you only really have the design in the center. Um, for all of these bracelets, that's just kind of how these patterns work. We've got the fruit in the center surrounded by, you know, some foliage and, you know, flowers and whatnot. Um, but the majority of the bracelet at the beginning and then at the end is actually just empty rows. So you don't have to spend a lot of time doing those empty rows. And also these bracelets aren't that wide in terms of um, base strings. So actually creating an individual bracelet, if I was just doing one, would have been a lot easier and a lot quicker if I wasn't doing a collection. So if you are looking to make these, I highly recommend them. I think they're really cool. And because I filmed this a year ago and I'm just looking at it now, this is the longest I've ever recorded a voiceover for something, by the way. I know usually I, I say that like, you know, I made this bracelet a while ago and here I am recording a voiceover because that does usually happen. Like I film it and then I, I film a bunch like in one go. Typically I film either a bunch of tutorials or a bunch of not with me's or just a bunch. I film in bulk, you know, like I film a bunch and then I sit down and I edit a bunch or then I sit down and I record voiceovers a bunch and like I, I do things in bulk um, because that's just how my brain works. I don't know. So uh, oftentimes I make a bracelet for a not with me and then I sit down to record the voiceover a while later, like sometimes, you know, a week or two. I think the most I ever go is probably like a month. So that's just kind of the standard process for me. But yeah, no, this is the longest I've ever recorded, <laughs> like longest I've ever gone between actually recording the video and then recording the voiceovers. So this is a little bit weird for me, but the reason I bring it up is because I actually haven't made an alpha bracelet in a really long time. I had a bit of a break in terms of making bracelets in general recently. Um, when I say recently, I mean like mostly over the winter months, right? It, you know, I have been making bracelets recently, recently, but I did go through a bit of a break um, before then. As I said, I just, I'm, I'm less active over winter and then, you know, I have, I have plenty of other hobbies and I spend my time doing those things. I read a lot, I journal a lot. I don't know, I play video games. Um, I write, I, I do all sorts of other stuff, but then also I had some pain in my wrist. And so that kind of prevented me from making as many bracelets as I wanted to. But um, yeah, so I've, I have recently come back to it and I have been making quite a few bracelets since then, but I haven't made an alpha bracelet specifically in months, um, in, in a really, really long time. So <laughs> watching this back and actually seeing myself make these gorgeous friendship bracelets is really putting me in the mood of making an alpha bracelet. So I, you know, I want some recommendations from you guys. I, whenever I record um, not with me videos or, you know, vlogs or anything of that sort, or we're just kind of hanging out, anything that's not a tutorial essentially, right? Anything where I'm just kind of hanging out with you guys and, you know, I'm, I'm vibing, you're vibing hopefully <laughs> as well. I imagine you watching the video while also nutting or, you know, if I'm journaling in a video, maybe I imagine you also journaling or, if I'm talking about books, you know, maybe I imagine you, I don't know, I was gonna say reading, that doesn't make any sense, does it? But you know, I imagine you doing something that's related to the video, um, mostly knotting, of course. So if you are knotting a bracelet at the moment, specifically, if you are knotting a alpha bracelet, then let me know what you're making because I always love to see what you guys make. Um, I think I get stuck in making the same types of bracelets a lot. I have my favorites, you know, like with, with normal patterns, I really enjoy bracelets that have an outline and some kind of, you know, graphic design. Um, so I do bracelets like that a lot. And I kind of, I feel like I pigeonhole myself into like a specific kind of bracelet. So I want recommendations. I want to see what you guys are making. I want to see what you are doing. And if you have any recommendations specifically for alphas, because I really want to get into making them again <laughs> now, <laughs> as I mean, um, let me know, let me know. But yeah, I think, yeah, this is one of those uh, bracelets that I was talking about with the colors, right? I had to use the yellow for the dots 
of the strawberry to make sure that it kind of was cohesive with the rest of the bracelet with the rest of the bracelets oh my god it's hard to record these i record this in one take by the way so sometimes i stumble but here we are i i love 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 these bracelets i cannot stop gushing over them i am so so glad i found the footage for these i am so so glad i made this these were so fun to do and i'm so glad to finally be sharing with you guys the patterns for these are linked in the description in case you want to make them and I recommend that you do because I said uh, they're really, really fun. They're really quick to make. If you just make one, maybe don't make the entire collection if you're not up for it. Um, and then also tell me, yeah, tell me which one was your favorite. I'm curious to know if there is a specific favorite for people because I don't know which one would be my favorite. I think probably the blueberry just because I think I made that one first. And so that's why it's my favorite. But I don't know, I actually really like all of these equally. But anyway, um, I'll leave the patterns linked. Send me pictures if you do end up making it. I love seeing your pictures on Instagram or you know, any way you send it to me, I love seeing it. So please share. But that is going to be it for today. And before I go, I want to give a special shout out to my patrons and especially my top supporters. It is with their support that I'm able to create the videos that I do on this channel. So I'm really, really grateful. If you also want to become a supporter and support the work that I do here, the link to my Patreon is in the description. My book, The Beginner's Guide to Friendship Bracelets is also now out. It is a collection of photo tutorials for beginners all the way from the basics to the more advanced stuff that is available anyway, you typically buy books. And there is also a direct link in the description if you want to use that. But in any case, thank you so, so much for watching. I had so much fun filming and editing this video. I hope you enjoyed watching it as well, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.